lineups what you want. We are live. Wall to wall coverage here. Match one. Harry's All Stars against Team Baker. Eight other matches taking place all the way down the lanes. We just had our opening announcements from uh, tournament coordinator Nate Lees. As Tina Ward is bowling on lane 29, Kim Pelletier starts with a six. And Tina. on her second box. All over the head pin there for Kim. Tina had a 10 in the first. She leaves a nice little uh, barn door spare, a little bit away from the 10 pin. Match format today, there are 18 teams here. Um, we'll, We'll uh, share a lot more about that later on as Tina Ward breaks the ice with the first spare of the, of the day. For Harry's All-Stars. Oh, oh! That's for a 10 for Kimmy. 16, we're going to be bowling two at a time. Get Kathy Renault and Mary. Harry's All-Star on the left. Team Baker on lane 30 on your right. An early uh, four-pin lead plus a ball for Harry's All-Stars, but we are we got five bowlers on each team. Each team must must carry a uh, a woman at all times on the on it on its active roster. Harry's All-Star only has one substitute, and uh, Team Baker is the one team that is going to be playing all 17 matches over the next two days without a sub. That's a nine for Mary to start. Kathy, Kathy opens with an eight. Oh, nice bit of the split. The split. Okay, Mary. Mary puts up nineteen. Mary Thomas. And now for the gentleman's portion. Each match will consist of one string. We have Brandon Marks representing Harry's All-Stars. Corey Packard for, the, for Team Baker. Starts with the Kaliri sleeve. Marks breaks up the split. Three pieces of wood way out in front of the nine pin. Corey will be open. Brandon's going to try to move that pile. Nope. Tried for the tip. That'll be a 10 for Brandon. Seven for Corey. Goes back for another ball. Attention ball is just, you gotta keep your ball entryways clear. If the balls, too many balls are stuck in those ball things, they're gonna get stuck in there. You gotta keep it all the way. Put balls underneath the racks. There's gonna be too many balls on the racks. Balls are already getting stuck in that ball lift and get scraped up, okay? Keep that ball exit way clear. Marks again through, but uh, leaves this 
Leaves a split. He's got the uh, three six four seven. Corey gives it a gives the one three uh, look. Works out the one and the nine. One in the uh, eight. Sorry. We're gonna move. Keeping the broadcast sane all day is going to be a challenge. Right now we are in the uh, first two frames. Chris Bovert and Jonathan Boudreau will join us now on 29 and 30. Remember Tina Ward is sitting on a spare. And there's an early seven pin lead for, for Harry's All-Stars out of uh, Central Mass. Half Worcester for Jonathan. Bovert versus the Diamond. Stretch out our pin cam to the corners. There we go. See that corner pin over there? Boudreau converts on the half Worcester. 18% professional bowlers convert on half Worcesters. You saw why there. Chris will have his chance at the same. First bonus ball of the match here. Nine drop. Boudreaux adding that to the uh, eight pin lead. So 17 pin lead early on. And he gently persuades the seven to fall for his second mark. So he'll sit down with 29 in a ball. Make way for John Winchell. 18 for Chris Spover. Eighteen pin lead plus two bonus balls early on here. Through four or five bowlers in the first two frames. Sean Baker sets up for Team Baker. Anchor bowlers here. Drops to seven, leaves the triangle in the corner. Winchell is right in the pocket. Leaves the uh, five, nine, ten. Can't see the 10 pin in the corner. You got to look under the under the edge there. He's got the 10 in the corner on the pin cam. We'll make some adjustments there in a little. Let's see if we can move the ball. So get the bowler's head straight. So Baker working on the bonus ball after his spare. Trying to nip into that now 16 pin lead. Oh, just two. F, what's the left? And Boudreaux is on the three pin. Leaves the one, two, seven. 9-10. Hey, big out ball coming. A lot of stacked teams here today. Oh, what a beautiful 10! The one four seven six ten.
All right, and that's uh, 10 for 18 for John Winchell. So Tina, Tina Ward is going to step back up. You're going to swap, swap sides for the uh, third and fourth strings. Remember, Tina's working on a 20 and a ball through two. Get up there. Right in the head pin. Right. Seven away. of the bonus. 14 pin lead for Harry's All-Star before that ball. They have two marks. And uh, Team Baker was open in the second, so no bonus balls for them. Kimmy's got a big out coming up, Kim Pelletier. So Tina's, Tina Ward is now at 35 through three. Early 26 pin lead opened up now for uh, Harry's All-Stars. Right on the head pin again, a little flush. Leaves a three and one. Kim has the five, six, seven, nine, ten. Good chance. Scratched it in the heel, but no, no movement there. Both bowlers open here. Tina Ward at 44 through four. And Kim with that 10 will be at 29. That's 15 point lead for Harry's All-Stars in that matchup. As Kathy Renault and Mary Thomas step up. Match score here in the uh, Third and fourth frames. 129 to 104, Harry's All-Stars with the early lead. They lead in the marks, three to one. Nice spare opportunity here for Kathy. She's on her object just a little thin. Good 10 for Kathy. We're gonna share this out to Candlepin Chat right now. Should be seeing a few more viewers in a second. Early going here. Mary Thomas on lane 29, Kathy Renault from Harry's All-Stars on lane 30. Harry's All-Stars has a 28-pin uh, lead at the moment. Kathy's trying to protect as Mary will, will be open. Both bowlers will be open. Big outs coming up here. Trying to clear five on the deck. Nicely done, four of them fall. And she picks up another pin. 148 to 119. Plus a bonus ball for Harry's All-Stars. Bonus ball is coming up from Jonathan Boudreaux, who came out with two spares. Tina Ward also had a spare. She picked up 15 pins in her matchup. Third bowler in the third frame right here. Brandon Marks. On lane 30, all over the head pin. Parallel pins, but he's got some work. It's the four five. Corey Packard for Team Baker. Fierce 
shot there. Oh yes, Marks converts on the on the four five. Hit on the low end of that wood, right where you needed to. Corey plays the cap. Got it to tumble, but couldn't couldn't get it to take a right turn. That'll be a nine. Corey? Mark's in the bonus. Looking to put the lead up into the 40s here. Drop seven. And Corey, again on the head pin, again with a split. Marks is trying to get the ball to jump, jump left. Almost pulled it off. Marks is at uh, 37 through three. Working on a, on a 10 there. And Corey is also open. Okay, so 46 through four for Brandon Marks. And 34 through four for Corey Packard. Lead is now 37 pins. Jonathan Boudreaux in the bonus. So 37 pins plus this ball. That's four more. 41 pin lead. With two bowlers to go here in the third and fourth frames. You just joined us. Got Harry's All Stars out of uh, Bogey Lanes and Team Baker in the first round of 17 here at the Mixed World Mixed Nationals this year. Boudreaux can't get the five, but uh, buried buried that one-two pocket. Chris Bovert. Team Baker has just one mark so far. Sean Baker opened with a spare. Filled it with two though. And the lead is now 41 pins. through four frames for 80% of the bowlers. Boudreaux has a check mark. Over at another nice uh, head pin shot, not rewarded. 10 pin is not showing up perfectly on the pin cam. You, gotta, you can sort of see it under the uh, under the ball return. Might be moving that camera back for the uh, second match. Get a little better view. Over, it's got to get that move, wood to move. He does. He does, but the ball gives him a funny bounce. So Boudreaux's at 53, remember he opened up with two spares, and he's at 53, 13 over through four. Bovert is open with a nine, a nine, a 10, and a nine. He's at 37. 42 pin lead for Harry's All-Stars in the first round matchup. Eight other matches happening to our left. do our best to keep track of the 10 bowlers in front of us, but uh, we'll give you updates between the matches. Hey, John Winchell leaves the horses. 
And Baker drops nine with two. Double wood, covering his 10 pin in the corner. You sort of see, the, see it in a peekaboo style. Winchell pokes out the three pin. Baker converts his second spare. John went for a mall, he, leave, he leaves three, so he's got 25 through three. First ball, the fourth box. Winchell on lane 30. Yes, he gets the far. Breaks up the little baby split. Team Baker now finds itself 39 pins behind. But that was in the bonus for Sean, so he'll 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 bite into that. There for Winchell, his first. 35 and a ball. And that is Sean Baker's third spare. He's gonna sit down with 50 and a ball through four. Bull and league style here, two at a time. The official score right now is uh, 215 to 184, but we have those two spares remaining, but uh, we'll call it a 29 pin lead. Kim gets a lot of late action from the right side. She'll have an opportunity at her first spare. For Team Baker on lane 30. She's playing the cap, she's got it all over it. Tina Ward is right in her pocket, but splits it through. Tina had a mark seven earlier and took an early lead for Harry's All-Stars. She now stands at 52 through five. Kim Pelletier at 39 and a ball at the half. Oh, that's, that'll be three in the fill. So 42 half for Kim. She loses 10 head to head to Tina. Other bullies. The first four bullers from Harry's All-Stars all have a lead. John Baker has a 15-pin uh, lead, though, over John Verdrill. At the midway point, good 10 for Kim. She's at 52, and she'll sit down in the sixth. Big out coming, big out coming. Okay, that's a six for Tina. Big swing there. Tina still has a six-pin lead in her matchup. As the lead narrows now to 22 pins overall for Harry's All-Stars. The Renault team. Mary Thomas now. Falls down, but she stays in, stays behind the line. Everything's good, she says. She puts her palms up. And Kathy punches through the two pin. Decent two and one split opportunity here for Mary. Nope, off her object. All right, Kathy gives it a good bit. Plays the inside of the split. And that'll be an eight for Mary, who's at 42 at the half. And Kathy Renault holds her end of the bargain. She's got 46. Continuing to pin. 
both of those both of these bowlers are open so far if you just joined us we're at the uh, halfway point now just bowling, bowling league style nice nine drop for Mary Thomas on team Baker team Baker is 23 pins behind at the moment as we're bowling the fifth and sixth strings league style here two at a time that wood is not necessarily helpful I was afraid of that so was Sean see him jumping up he kind of knew that was coming that was for a 10 for Mary Thomas And a mat matching 10 for Kathy Renault, who's at uh, 56. She's got a four pin lead in her matchup. Six pin lead for Tina Ward in her matchup for Harry's All-Stars. Brandon Marks here leads by 12. Um, as he has, a, he has a spare Corey backer. It has been all over the head pin, but is still open. Not that time though. He's got the one, three, six. Two, five. Big strike for our tournament director over on lane 28 and eight leads. Corey rips it and he does. Uh, pure force of will brought that. So Corey's got a smudge now. Good nine there off of that lead for Brandon Marks. He's at 55. So 22 pin lead right now, minus this ball. Corey Backer, let's call it, se call it 17. Harry's All-Stars past the midway point now. Has led all the way since Tina Ward opened with a spare in her second box. Both bowlers will be open in the sixth. That was a 44 half for Corey and a 55 half for Marks. 11 pin swing there. Nice. Late action for a nine for Corey. He's at 58 and Marks is at 63. So through completed frames, it's now a 16 pin lead for Harry's All-Stars. Led by uh, Steve Reno, who's uh, actually playing as the sub right now. As John Winchell in is his anchor. Bovert As the Woolworths, five and dime. Boudreau, with a triangle, good chance there. Professional conversion rate on triangles is 44%. Let's see how John does, there it is, that's why. They hit their objects 71% of the time, and their balls have enough spin and they're able to hit the half pin well enough that they can get the other two to fall. That was uh, Boudreaux's third spare in this match. He's at 63 plus the ball through the half. Chris Bovert's been uh, still looking for his first mark. He had a 46 half. Nine drop, leaving the king pin. So a 72 half for Boudreaux adds to the lead. 
Which should now be about 28 pins. Both Winchell, both anchor bowlers are working on marks when they begin the, the fifth. Chris is going to try to cap this one and send it across. Nope. Almost got the ball to do the work. And the second flip is what does the trick for Jonathan Boudreaux's fourth mark in this through six frames. He's at 82 and a ball already, 22 over plus. And Bovert's at 56. The score is now 294, 268. As the anchor bowlers set up for the uh, fifth and sixth frames here. Sean Baker in the bonus. Off on the two pin, but drops five. And John Winchell gets eight in this bonus, adding to the Harry's All-Stars lead. Port Packard says, the wood is live. We just got a reset after two balls, I believe, on Sean Baker's. the five in the fill stands. I don't know why there's no reset. Oh, Please. I didn't see him so throw three balls. Winchell get off the cap of that uh, live wood. I think Baker has to re-roll. He got a five either way. I believe his original bonus would stand, but he now has to re-roll the uh, fifth frame, so he has another chance. So instead of the Kaliri, he makes his spare. So interesting turn of events there, as there was an inadvertent reset on lane 30. I don't know, I don't believe we have automatic pins presets here. So I'm not sure what happened there. Certainly the ball rack is full. Heard the announcement earlier that uh, he was... There's the first strike on the far lanes here. Baker trying to hold up his team on his shoulders all by himself. He's got uh, four spares and that strike. Through six, he's sitting at 85 and two balls. John Winchell has the eagle wing left. Off the head pin, though. Harry's All Stars lead is now down to nine officially. But uh, we have bonus balls coming up for Jonathan Boudreau. And Sean Baker has two. So we'll, we'll, we'll say those are about a wash. So let's, as we start the seventh box, Tina Ward bowling first for Harry's All-Stars. Leading by 19. Leaves the hay bale plus one. Tina's at uh, 58 through 6. As 
she continues to hit her object. She's been punching through a little bit. She holds a six pin lead in this matchup. The first four players for uh, Harry, Harry's All-Stars all have, have leads through six. And Sean Baker coming up huge with a 85 plus plus has a lead over John, John Winchell. There's a 22 plus lead. Tina has a talon back there. Spread Eagle plus the nine. Nice mid! Plays it like a pro, goes, on, goes for the uh, wing on the left. Sent the two pin into the nine pin. It bounced back and uh, unfortunately wasn't able to carry the three, but it was a beautifully, beautifully played shot. She has a 10. Kim Pelletier with her uh, second mark. She's at 70 in a ball, so six or more, and she'll tie Tina. Tina's at 76 through eight. Lead is now 19 pins, but Kim has a, an extra bonus ball coming up. Mary's All-Stars, Kathy Reno now bowling on lane 30. Mary Thomas gets a little late action, she's, she's nodding. Playing for the horses, the, the wood kind of stubbed it. Big spare and a great reaction for Mary Thomas on lane 29. Team Bakers making a comeback. Pick up another pin there, plus the bonus. 18 pins. A bonus ball now for Mary Thomas. Kim Pelletier has a, has a bonus ball also in her pocket for when she starts the ninth. And Sean Baker, of course, is working on a strike. For Harry's All-Stars, only Jonathan Boudreau is sitting on a bonus. I'd say, oh I'd say with that seven drop, that we're now virtually tied, given the, given the number of balls coming in the bonus. Another kid, oh it's crossing a very late push. Two big spares for Mary Thomas in the se seventh and eighth. And we have a lead, we have a lead change for the first time. Oh. Nice pickup on the horses for the 10 there. For Kathy Reno's at 75. She held, she's been holding the lead now. It's swapped over to Mary Thomas at 79 and a ball. She's got a four pin lead plus a ball. Brandon Marks and Corey Packard now. Brandon. In on the head pin, but leaves that head pin out there to help with his uh, right triangle. Corey's got the triangle in the corner, the isosceles version. It goes at 44%. I don't have numbers on this one for Packard. For, for Marks converts on lane 30, stops the momentum just for a second. Let's see if Corey, he's good on the triangle. Five marks in the, in the seventh and eighth string out of six so far for Team Bakers roaring back. They, they were trailing by as many as 40 pins earlier. Marks with four in his bonus ball. Oh, and two, so. Got a chance. Head pin saves though. Brandon. Yeah. 
18 for center. Corey is. Corey grabbed his grabbed an uh, extra ball during the first two boxes. He didn't didn't like his grip or something. Good out for Corey though. He he's at eight. At 78 through eight for Corey. Got two marks, but he filled them with a five and a seven. Brandon Marks is at 87, so nine there. You see that the the ladies, Mary Thomas and Kim Pelletier. Picked up a bit of a lead. Right now, uh, Jonathan Boudreau in the bonus. Grabs seven on his fourth spare of the match. Chris Bovert is still open. Oh my goodness, what a great play on the wood. Ball carried the uh, four, seven, the wood. That you saw it on the pin cam, I hope. Great spare. Boudreaux's fifth of this match. He's at 99 and a ball through seven. Already 29 over is Bovert completes his 10. A 29 over bowler would finish with a 129, but he's Got another bonus here, the three more, so that uh, puts him to 32. 32 over. 102 through seven frames. To Drove. His lead. Remember, we've got bonus balls coming up from both Kim Pelletier and Mary Thomas. And still a uh, strike fill for Sean Baker. So the lead nominally is at 22 pins right now. But with those, those three bonuses coming up, I'd say it's just about tied. We're going to be coming down to the last string. And Bovert will be open through eight. Just off the head pin. Four horses. Four horsemen go 40% of the time for a pro bowler. Okay. Lead is now nominally 26 pins for Harry's All Stars. Remember, there are. Uh, Four bonus balls coming up. These next two from Baker on lane 29, as Jonathan Winchell will start. Crosses over into the uh, two hole. Decent, decent outcome there. He's got the uh, one, three, four, seven. Baker, a double here would be huge. Oh. That's a clipped eagle, the 10, the ten fell in the corner. Oh, right where he wanted it on the inside of that gap. Remember, those were, those were in the fill for, for Baker. So that's an eight fill. It's now an 18 pin lead. Two bonus balls coming up from the from the late from the ladies when they start the ninth. Baker picked up one more there, so it's now, it's now a 17-pin lead. With 11 boxes to play, we're at the end of our first match of 17. Brought to you here by Spread Eagle Productions. Baker one up to Jonathan Boudreaux's 102. 
through seven with a 103. He has a very makeable. Oh! Winchell with a three and one attempt. Very. Sent the messenger. The wall sent it back. Second ball here, spare attempt. The wood is, the wood looked to be good. He was, a, I, mean, I suppose, a little high on it. Um, nice 10 for Winchell, who's at 82 through eight. And ba Baker puts up two tens here. Eight in his strike fill. He's got, uh, remember, three spares and a strike. He's at 113. 33 over for Baker. 31 over for Jonathan Boudreau out of the four slot for Harry's All-Stars. The rest of our bowlers are right near their box. Bonus ball, nine drop, an enormous Enormous fill for Kim, and she's got Friendly Wood, a barn door closer here. Tina Ward has, has the uh, half Worcester, meanwhile. Right where she wanted it. Third spare for Pelletier. And Tina facing five with her third here. She's got the one plus the big four. She's going for it. Hey, six. Six for Baker. Puts her at 82 through nine. Kim Pelletier at 89. Plus this ball through nine. Four or more, and we'll have a lead change. It's exactly four. We're tied right now, but Mary Thomas has a bonus ball coming up next for Team Baker. So Team Baker has, has the lead. Oh my goodness, Pelletier with her fourth mark. Third in a row to finish. is open. This is her last ball. She'll finish with a 90. By Kim Pelletier. Struggled early with a, she had a uh, three in the third frame. Ah, another four fill, so. She manages to bring it back all the way for a 1-0. That fourth fill should be a 103. 107. 107 is, uh, is her, uh, her four from the uh, ninth hadn't, hadn't registered yet. Sorry. So she picks up 17 pins in her matchup with Tina. What a huge finish. There's now a uh, six-pin lead plus the bonus ball coming up. Mary Thomas. Harry's All Stars had a had as much as a 40 pin lead early go, in the early going. Quite impressive. Good late sweeping action for six. Some possibilities with the three pieces of wood to the left if she bounces it off the head pin. No. Okay. We now have a big mark for Kathy Reno. And a big 10 for Mary Thomas. 12 pin, 12 pin lead with seven to play. Three and one split, all right. Seven in the bonus for Kathy Renault. So 
the lead's down to five. Mary points her finger. Just don't do that. Kathy will be open. Gave the wood a try. So she's not feeling comfortable up there. So a seven. And Kathy, with her spare in the ninth, finishes with a 99. And Mary Thomas picks up two pins there with a 101. Four pin lead on the scoreboard. No, no bonus balls coming. Cor Corey Packard here. Right in the pocket. The six was the last to fall. Brandon Marks leaves that difficult cross shot. He's got the uh, half Worcester plus the uh, 710. Big. Working on the strike. Right in the same pocket, but just a little bit thinner. Leaves the five, six, ten. Still working in the bonus, though. Wood. He can steer it. Getting advice from Sh skipper Sean Big Baker. He's playing it on the stripe. Gets it to push and touch the six. But eight. Eight in the bonus. Should put the lead at uh, 14 pins. Not leaving anything behind. And Marks drop, leaves two more there. So Marks finishes with a 103. Packard comes back with a 106 with his uh, two, two spares and a strike and a 106. Jonathan Boudreau has been uh, the difference early for the, for Harry Al Harry's also he's at 111 through eight. It's Chris Bowen, who had been open, buries the strike. I believe the nine pin was the last to fall there. Boudreau has. <laughs> Managed to work the 910, but couldn't uh, couldn't send a messenger. Had a messenger had to go backwards. And the four is still there. Seventeen pin lead now, plus. Chris Bovert's bonus, putting Jonathan, John Winchell in double strike territory. All right, five on the first ball. Double wood. Boudreau has the uh, five eight. Oh, great bid. And eight in the bonus. Putting this one possibly out of reach. 
Boudreaux has something to say about that. And Chris breaks 100 with that, 102. He, remember, he was open through the first eight. He had uh, four tens, three nines and eight, and a strike. Boudreaux's fill is just three. So, Sean Baker and Team Baker have a 22 pin lead with these last two boxes to play. And these two teams will not see each other again. They will play every other team in this building. Okay, and that should do it in all probability for the match. Oh, certainly that does as Baker converts. The hanging wood. Nice clear there for a spare for Winchell. Baker now at 123 plus this ball through nine. It's seven. See if he can pick those up. Winchell looking for that. There it goes. It's his late strike. The nine was top, leaning back and forth. Oh, what a spare from Baker. Who's at 140 now, plus the ball. Still out of reach, but uh, that should be a 146. A 146 huge anchor bowling from Sean Baker. And Winchell puts six in his first ball. First bonus. Now at 108, and he'll finish with a 111, I think. 121, sorry, 121. Score, they never, they never include the 10 in the, on the, on the uh, score sheet. 121 for John Winchell, 133 for John Boudreau, 103 for Brandon Marks. Catherine Renault with a 99, Tina Ward with a 90. But Team Baker wins it. 562 to 546 by 16, 16 pins. Scores of 146 for Baker, 102 for Bovert, 106 for Patrick, 101 for Mary Thomas, and 107 for Kim Peltier. Huge finish for her, three spares in a row. Gonna make some adjustments on our equipment between the matches. We'll get you scores from throughout the lane.
that's a little better. set up for the second match of the day. We've got the Penny Lane Prima Donnas. There were a couple things I forgot to mention. Uh, we will be doing 50-50s throughout the day today and tomorrow. Half of the proceeds will go towards Candle Pins for Cancer. Uh, the other half will go to the individual prizes for this tournament. Uh, Teddy has menus for a bunch of places in the area up front for anybody that wants to order food. They are serving beer and wine all day. Please tip your servers. There, there will be a slight delay in the computer system setup. So everybody can warm up for the string. It'll be ready in a few minutes. So our next matchup coming shortly. Penny Lane Prima Donna is against the bottom shelf team. Penny Lane features Maddie Kelly, Marion Johnson, Jimbo Ayet, Tim Matero, Jeff Surrett, the sub Sonia Rossi, and Evan Riva. Bottom shelf, Deb DeRocher, Glennis McKinney, Austin Barnes, Tim Jalbert, and Joe Smith. With subs Cheryl Gooding and Ken Dubray. We'll leave it on the, we'll show you the rosters here while, while the bowlers warm up, so as not to confuse you. We're gonna remain here on lanes 29 and 30 for our next two matches featuring Price's Wood Flooring and Manchester Foundation. And uh, then at uh, noon, we're expected to see nothing to lose against Team Holbrook. South Shore matchup. You're wearing the prices shirt? Yeah. That's real confusing. Okay, John. No, uh, we were bowling uh, Academy. Academy. Team. Academy. Kathy Boyd. All right. So, okay. And that's you. So, you're, you're Team Holbrook. Yep. So, I got, I got you at uh, 12 over here. Okay, cool. And uh, one pin over Academy. Yeah. No, no, I'm sorry. Academy. It was Academy uh, the Checkers. Academy, yeah. so, the, so, the team with. Uh, Kathy Boyd, Tom Dupre, Steve Walker, Sean Berryman, Cheryl Nealon. I'll see you later. Heard that. Team Holbrook won by one. Oh, oh, big win there. So Penny Lane, Prima Donna is with an early win over Price's Wood Flooring. The uh, Price's Wood Flooring does not have Sean Daly, though he's wearing their shirt today. 
Bryce's is uh, the team with Lori Lewis, Sarah Duffy, Nate Lees, Freshy, and Dave Godwin. The bowlers are warming up now. Are you ready for the second of 17 matches? We'll see if we've got the chops. We've got the battery. We, we think we have the batteries and the, and the electricity. Hope our signal is coming through clearly. Just join us. Uh, we watch a big comeback, a 40 pin, early 40 pin lead from Harry's All Stars. The, the Just to let everybody know, team. it's going to be a little bit before we can move on to our next string. Okay, it's going to be a little bit of a few minutes. I got to re enter the, the, the first string all over again and set up the group again. All Welcome right. To That was our tournament. The Academy Lane's uh, announcement. Yeah. Enter everybody's name into the uh, scoring system for match two. We'll stay here live. We'll try to bring my notebook out and see if I can. Uh, See if we can uh, set up a mobile cam here. I'll show you what the. That's the scene here. As always. Yeah, dude. Like, 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 like